welcome back to my channel. I miss you guys so much. How long has it been, you guys? Tell me. <laughs> I think it's been like two months since I was last on here um, when I promised I was gonna post more and, and post more consistently. But yeah, I lied. <laughs> Uh, I've just been going through a lot the past two months so I just decided to like take a quick little social media break and you know obviously this includes YouTube. Honestly I doubt anyone noticed but I was like posting less on Instagram as well but yeah anyway I am feeling better and in a much better place now so I'm just excited to be back filming, vlogging, and editing and just you know sharing life with you guys. So anyway, we just got to Vegas. Vegas! <laughs> Sin City. And this week is officially F1 race week. If you guys been to Vegas recently or even like the past couple months, you'll probably see all the crazy F1 construction and all that just wreaking havoc. But yeah, long story short, we are invited to a couple of private events throughout the race week, which I will be taking you guys along with me. This is my first ever f1 experience so i have absolutely zero idea of what to expect or honestly i just don't know what's going on so if this is like your first time it's also my first time and i'm just happy to be able to experience this with you guys although you know virtually we will be watching the actual uh, three-day race event and we are actually going with a watch brand called Richard Mill. You guys will be coming along with me and, you know, experience all the good stuff. Today is actually me and my boyfriend's four-year anniversary <laughs> and we will be engaging in some fine dining activity, which is why I'm all dressed up now. Anyway, so good to be back. Good to see you guys. Hope you guys like my intro and I will see you guys soon. Bye. We're out here doing my favorite thing, walking and public transportation. I can't believe we're walking to dinner. Traffic is just way too bad um, with all the roads blocked off. So it is a little bit easier to walk, but I just hate walking, especially in heels. Talk nice to me, I'm in your head, I invest That's a short-term fee, got it locked, I'm the best Well, at least that's what I think Give me props when I rap, yeah. you up, yeah. I leave uh, Big bag, I'm in it, I get it, I got it Going north, not south, cause I rise when I rap Bars on flex, let me show you what I'm about Young black boy from the villa, I get my city <laughs> We're back. That's right. That's right. right. You remember this feeling? Yes. The green box. Like, right. <laughs> oh. Green dial. The green. Smoke green. Yeah. Oh wow, that's nice. Show them. <laughs> yeah. that is nice. Color. It's such a dark, dark yeah, green. Dark, you know, dark. you can almost barely tell it's green. That's why I love it. Yeah. It's not this bright. Gaudy green, it's subtle, it's mature. Do the reveal. <laughs> you should do this around Christmas time. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You should give my husband pressure. Thing. You ready? Oh. <laughs> this oh, is a big one. So, this is a very <laughs> special watch. Uh -huh. This is the code 1159. Full pave dial and case. And it's in set in 18 karat rose gold. You've got 1,116 brilliant cut diamonds really, in really top small. clarity. Very small stones. The whole weight, though, adds up to five carats and change. So, this oh, is my favorite oh my part that little trim on the side yeah. all over the octagon. But I love the restraint wow. of leaving these two strips without diamonds you know it just gives it this lovely kind of restraint sold about five of these they were only wow. making about 20 or 30 a year a very low production oh my goodness so, <gasps> wow. so uh -huh. i'll tell you guys a little bit about these yeah. ultra premium <laughs> pieces Whoa. so what you are looking at is what we call the baguette masterpiece you're looking at 
um, hundreds of large emerald cut baguettes that are done with what AP calls invisible setting, which is an ultra premium setting. It's the hardest setting to perform and it gives this illusion 41 millimeter fully open work dial with a very special silver bridge work there, really, really nice. Um, you have a nice thick link just because that is what's required to house these gigantic rocks. That's Isn't that a crazy dream. thing to see this? I know. That's my dream watch. Yeah. It looks transparent because of the diamond. Yeah, it does. It's like a it's mirror. Currently Tuesday and we have our first event today. It's like a private dinner with AP. I'm just quickly getting ready. The dinner is at seven. Lately, I've been taking a long time getting ready for some reason. I don't know why, like back then, I can just like bang out my makeup in like 30 minutes. Lately, I've been really taking my sweet ass time. But yeah, I'm excited for dinner tonight. And tomorrow, which is Wednesday, I also have an event in the daytime. It's with the watch brand IWC. I think they're taking us to the track, not the actual F1 track, but like a track off the strip um, to drive their Mercedes AMG cars. So <laughs> I'm very excited about that. Okay, so I'm gonna finish getting ready and I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Hi guys, so I'm done getting ready and I just got dressed. I was freaking debating if I should wear something kind of like revealing, almost like slutty-ish, excuse my language, but I felt like it wasn't really that kind of event. So I went with something more casual, wearing this tank top maxi dress from Loewe. Oh, is that a stain? I actually wore this dress yesterday too. Um, it must have been from like my pasta or something whatever um but yeah i've been in a huge blue phase recently i think i'm going to pair this dress with a jean jacket um, because it is a little bit cold outside and i'm going to wear my heels from aquazura these heels are so freaking cute they are very tall though so i need to be careful when i walk in them <laughs> But yeah, what do you guys think? I think this looks pretty stylish. I'm just waiting for my boyfriend to get back. He's He actually went to an event without me today. But yeah, so I'm just waiting for him and then we're gonna head over to the restaurant. Have a good time. Uh, there's food passed as well as uh, sand, so if you need anything, please feel free to. Thank you. Yes, please. One of each. For you, miss? I'll do one of each as well. They don't even tell you about it unless they think you're serious. Thank you. We're at the balcony of Ocean Prime and you can see a little bit of the track. I heard F1 was trying to like charge them money to operate on that night, which is pretty crazy, but I think they are selling these tables. Fuck all my plans up, stay for the night, stay for the night. I was riding for dances, and we turned off the lights, turned off the lights. She was throwing a tantrum, I guess it's alright, guess it's alright. My mother the magic, it's only one night, it's coming in time. TikTok, now nah, I don't wait on your phone, you blowing up your page. Wristwatch, looking out of space, got these black diamonds filling up the face. They have all been. Alrighty, thank you. All the cars. These cars were here yesterday, right? Yeah. They are. Oh. What kind oh, of? Well, what? What are these? Are just normal cars, right? No, this is a S63. The new one. Oh. Oh. That's the one we want to get, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, I love the front. Lunch time. Whoa, this is 
so cute. What is this? Oh, it's a salad. No, I don't want to It's a salad. <laughs> So if we can head over to this trail that's behind this structure here, we're gonna head to the briefing room. I think we're test driving. 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 We're test driving cars later. Hell yeah. Let's go. Oh, they have G wagons. Oh, they have multiple. Oh no, I mean over there. Those are G wagons, right? I love this gray. I'm going to put you through a pretty cool little academy course today. Because it's one of the most fun things you can do with a car. Uh, so you'll get to drive on the skid pad, which basically is intentionally sliding a car. Driving a tree wagon. Unlock, baby. We're off-roading. Huh. On the course, uh, I think uh, you guys should keep enough room from the car in front of you so you can see the gravel, the dirt, rocks, and the ground to the surface. Ruts that you're oh, going through, you're going to want to have really oh, smooth throttle control. Just let the vehicle kind of bounce through there, but you want to be very, very consistent and smooth. On this is fear factor for me. <laughs> oh, shit. Oops. Wait. Which one? Oh, uh, the... The Wait. path. Looking good, looking good. Straight down. our booth for F1. This is what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing this like one piece um, tweed outfit. It took me like an hour to decide what I wanted to wear, but I ended up going with this. I feel like it's classy. Here, we're at the North Kobo zone. Thank you. Oh, they do sell merch.
With wow. some 40 minutes and change remaining in the session, frankly, Jonathan, I'm at a loss. Five a day too. Oh, Hello, oh, shut up. Oh my gosh, stop. It's day two of F1. Yesterday, apparently, there was some issues with like the manhole cover. So they had to suspend the freaking um, practice. But then the practice, the second practice resumed at 2 30 a.m and luckily we were actually able to watch some of it from our apartment because we had like the strip view and it was so cool but we ended up sleeping at like five so i'm like incredibly tired right now now we're just on our way to meet up with our friends maybe get a drink or something watch them gamble i feel like every time i take pictures it comes out like blurry Look at us. No. Oh, just did all the girls bring out their bags? Yeah. <laughs> what? I was like, did. That's the we're so time. extra. Like, that's the point. Why is this such good vlog content? No, bitch. We need to go up more. <laughs> Wait, take the one. You have one in here, right? Take it out. Oh, yeah. Take it oh. out. Take it out. Take it. It's so cute. I love that oh one, too. God, that's so, so cute. cute. I have my Twilly for mine, but I was like, "Fuck it." Look I didn't put a Twilly. I chose, I chose a chrome thing on it. Yeah. Because I didn't want to put a Twilly or like the rodeo. I brought my Twilly. I took my rodeo off. The rodeo is the horse thing. Oh, yeah. We're on our way to the qualifying day two. This is my outfit for today. I had my hair done, and I'm just wearing black again. <laughs> this is how our night ended. My clown shoes. Thank you, baby. <laughs> Literally everyone's laughing at us. You gotta throw those socks away. It's so nasty. is finally over and i am just so dude i'm vlogging Shh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay f1 is finally over stop it f1 is finally over and 
I'm so freaking exhausted. Literally, we've been sleeping at like 6 a.m. almost every single day. Um, doing what? I don't even know. Just degenerate stuff. <laughs> but um, we are actually going back to LA, or I mean, back to Cali tomorrow. Um, because we have a bunch of things we need to take care of and we're also prepping for our east coast trip which i'm so excited for um just long story short we are going to new york turks and caicos and then miami for art basel and there's some like uh events that we are invited to as well so of course i will be vlogging that we do have a one bedroom apartment but it's like extremely small so i literally hide our luggages behind our couch which i'm gonna take you guys over um look at this view it's so pretty we don't have a strip view but we do have the view of um aria which is what you which is pretty nice um but look at my luggages you guys it's a freaking mess and i need to pack right now um because we are leaving tomorrow and i just need to pick and choose what i'm gonna bring to the east coast because we are packing for two seasons which is just crazy to me and i tend to overpack so this is gonna be a mission. This is literally so embarrassing of me to show you guys my mess, but um, I just wanna show you guys some cute stuff that I've got recently. So like I got this set from Alexander Wayne. It's like a t-shirt plus sweatpants. Um, you know, theoretically, it's really stinking cute because it's like glittery and all that but I did not know the glitter actually comes off. So I'm like literally a glitter bomb and wherever I go, I leave a trail of glitter. Got this really cute um, quarter zip from Sandro. And this is so stinking cute. These little rhinestone details. It's just like the cutest little sweater I found. Strangers, bad. But now I know I'm the one who owns. 